Welcome everyone, Thomas Coyne here, Chief Instructor at Survival Training School of California. In this video lesson, we're going to cover plant transpiration. So let's say you're in need of water, you took our advice, you, you got to a, a high point, a point where you have good visibility, and you looked for the natural green belts, the riparian zones, you went down, and dang your luck, the creek bed is dry. However, there's plenty of vegetation that, whose roots are deep, deep in the ground into the water table. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract the moisture and water from these plants. Now, transpiration is evaporation loss from the leaves of the plant. The roots bring up the water from the water table, from the soil, spread it throughout the entire plant, the entire bush, tree, uh, and when it gets to the leaves, some evaporates off, much like when we breathe and sweat, water vapor evaporates from our body. Now, the way we're gonna capture this is just get as much of the green vegetation we can and put it in something that just doesn't breathe at all. A clear plastic bag or a light colored trash bag uh, is really your best bet. You don't want really a black bag because we're talking here about uh, the radiation exchange, the greenhouse effect that we're creating in there. So what you'll do is just get as much of this green vegetation as you can. You think it'll fit in the bag. And you don't just want to jam the branches in here because it can poke the bag. Um, the hot air expands, right? The air inside the bag is going to be hotter than the air outside of the bag. That means the bag is going to be pressurized. So any holes the air is going to want to shoot out and that's where the moisture is. It's evaporated in the air. So what we can do is simply fold the end, wrap around here, and take our time putting this bag in. You don't want to rush it. Good, good. Now what I need to do is I need to seal this off. If I have a piece of string, that's great. Uh, a shoelace or boot lace. If you've watched some of our other instruct instructional videos like our Off the Land series, you already know how to make rope from a lot of things around you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my Maxpedition blade here and I'm just gonna cut a thin willow branch. Long, thin one. Now I am using the willow tree here and we want to use a vegetation we're pretty sure is not toxic, okay? Uh, the willow tree, we get aspirin from this, we consume tea from this internally, so I'm not worried about it. You could do this with plants that aren't necessarily in riparian zones either, like your pine trees, um, cedars, uh, different reeds and grasses are great. One thing to avoid is the salt cedar plant. I'll, get, I'll show you that on the video later. Um, that's in a lot of riparians in the United States as well as the Middle East, and its transpiration is toxic. So see, I can just grab this branch. Tighten the bag up real, real good there. tight as you can because you don't want the water vapor to get out. And just tuck it over itself. Now I'm going to need this to be on a downward angle so I can go ahead and use a piece of string or kind of like a cooking show, right? I have one already ready. You could do a rock like you'll see here. Now this transpiration bag has been left overnight. Um, it hasn't been very hot. It's been a little bit overcast. So um, there's not a huge amount of water in there, but there is a, a little bit. Now this rock is holding the bag down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly remove the bag and try not let, to let any of the water run out. These do work better in the sun, in, in the daytime. The sun really helps with the evaporation, of course. Now, I always say these may help you stay alive a little longer, but you can't really, it's very difficult to sustain life with transpiration. It's a very slow process, um, and sometimes you just don't get 
a lot of water. Okay, so even overnight with this one, I just got about a mouthful of water here, okay? It's a little cloudy, but hey, if you haven't had water in a while, this will help. Mm, good. Mm, little willow chunk. Now I'm going to take you over where I have a bigger bag set up. Um, I have a, a full trash bag set up. Is that's really what you're gonna want um, in your kit. If you're gonna be going to the desert, hot areas, you may, you may need water. Get like a real light colored trash bag so you can get more transpiration. So we're going to grab the camera and go ahead and head over to where I have a larger bag on some reeds. Okay, so here I have a larger bag set up. Uh, this is a real light colored to almost clear trash bag, semi-transparent. Uh, these are some local cane reeds. These wild grasses, um, I always feel safe with. I'm gonna go ahead and untie my knot. Never want to cut string in survival. I may need this string this length for something else later. Oh. Take the bag off slowly. Drip the water off the plant. Get the water running down to the bottom. You see there's a lot of droplets still on these leaves. So you'll see that the heat is just coming out of this bag. Bag soaking wet inside. And even there, just about a mouthful. Okay, so you would want several of these trash bags. Um, you want them in the sun as long as you can. But um, it's still a way to get water. It's not the best thing in the world, uh, but it's still a way to get water. Right now is the fall. Um, there's going to be a lot of variables. You know, the height of summer, sunlight all day, longer day. Um, if you're in a more wet area where there's a lot of water in the water table, it also depends on how much the plant can transpirate itself as well. Uh, but it may not seem like much, but if you've been out wa uh, without water for a day, then uh, this mouthful is going to go down pretty smooth. Tastes much more crisp than the willow water. You really get that salicylic acid aspirin uh, from the willow. So that's our lesson on transpiration. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you never, ever have to do this to save your life. So thank you for watching our training program. Uh, there's much more to see at Survival Training School of California. It's www.californiasurvivaltraining.com. You can see more videos, more lessons, sign on for our interactive distance training, all that. So I'm Thomas Coyne, and you have a great day, and stay safe. Okay, hey everyone, this is the tamarix or salt cedar bush. We really want to avoid this. Um, this is native to the Middle East, but it got brought in to make shade trees in the desert, and it works well for that. However, it has a toxic sap. Some of that comes through in the transpiration. And what will happen, and what happened to a camera guy I worked with, because uh, they didn't take my advice, was nausea and diarrhea. Okay, going to throw up and you're gonna poo poo your pants. That's not what we want when we're lacking water already. So I would avoid the tamarix or salt cedar.